He worked in Canada's north for several years, and Bishop Mark Hageman says it changed him. The biggest lesson from the north is to um, move slowly and to relationship build and to meet people and to really uh, try to enter into their lives as opposed to bring sort of any preconceptions or judgment about uh, what may be needed. Indigenous people from across the province, though, are waiting for something that he can't deliver, an apology from the Pope for the Catholic Church's role in the residential school system. Former Saskatoon Bishop Donald Bolin spoke to the Pope about it when he visited the Vatican in March. The current bishop says Pope Francis is sympathetic to what Indigenous people have gone through, and he may have some surprises, as he puts it, in the next few years. What about the issue of non-Catholic students attending Catholic schools? The province's Catholic school boards are raising money to appeal a Court of Queen's Bench decision that ruled the province can't provide funding for those children to attend the religious schools. We, we speak about uh, public funding, but um, Catholics and, and other non-Catholics, you know, pay uh, out of their taxes for education. And so implied in that is the choice to make the decision around education that they want for their young people. Hageman says he looks forward to being part of the fight against the court ruling. That brings us to another ongoing controversy for the Catholic Church in this province, faith-based hospitals. St. Paul's here in Saskatoon does offer palliative care, but not medically assisted dying services. Other hospitals refuse to offer abortions. And that, Hageman says, is something that the Catholic Church will not compromise on. Bridget Yard, CBC News, Saskatoon.